What's going on everybody? We were not planning on making a video today, but we got to the swap meet and one booth in, we filled up a whole bag. All right, that was a freaking haul, boys. Keep this. Get home, show you guys everything we found. All right, we're back at home and we had a really good day at the swap meet today. I wanna to show you guys everything we picked up. I think we had about 40 items, so I'm gonna speed through some of it and um, I'll focus on, on some of the nicer items. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. Real quick, if this is your first time watching, my name is Ari on Instagram and on YouTube as Nothing New Thrifts. On this channel, um, I'm documenting my process as a full-time eBay reseller. We are going into year, the beginning of year two as a full-time reseller and yeah, we're having fun. Thank you guys uh, for watching. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and uh, give the video a like if you uh, if you can. I appreciate it. And yeah, enjoy the video. Let's go. All right. So first booth was awesome. First booth is basically the reason that we're making today's video. Um, again, nothing super insane. Some, some actually really nice items now that I'm looking at it, but everything was $2. So we paid $2 for 16 pieces, $32 total. First piece, um, we've been doing good with these anime tees. This is a uh, My Hero Academia. Academia, sorry, I don't, I don't watch it. I'm not sure how to say it, but super dope shirt, dope graphic. Um, hit on the sleeve, yeah, two bucks. Again, we usually try to get around twenty twenty five for our t-shirts. Next one, this is nice, man. Big old graphic. Boom, big old Selena tee, Selena brand. Again, nothing wild, but good size. And uh, same thing, 20, 25 bucks on that. All part of the $2 pile. More $2 goodness right here. Boom, this is my first time picking up a Sean John shirt. Um, I've seen it does okay. Most of these like the hip hop style graphics do do okay. So boom, should be able to get 25 for that, 20, 25. These were on the $2 rack. Boom, let's go. New tags, um, nothing crazy. Some Carhartt shorts, some Carhartt like cargo shorts kind of. Yeah. Again, I mean, I, I don't I don't think we'll have any issue getting twenty five dollars. Um, boom. First woman's piece. We don't do a lot of women's pe a lot of women's clothing, but we do uh we do torrid. We like torrid. Um some patterns, you know, sell really well. We find a lot of new with tags uh torrid, so we, we pick that up. The vintage tap out tee. Dang. That's pretty cool. So yeah, two dollar pile. Um I know some vintage tap out stuff does pretty well, so I'm gonna have to check that one out. This, I have no idea what it is. Um, it was on the $2 rack. We were just feeling hot, so they don't want to leave it. It's a Disney sweater. Boom, and maybe you guys know what it is. Let me know. Either way, I'm gonna look it up. And I have no doubt I can get 20 to 25 for it. <clears throat> this one is good. A little mix of everything here. Boom. If you know about figs, you know if you don't. Um, definitely pick up figs to resell. They sell, uh, they sell pretty fast. Should be able to get 25 bucks for that at least. This, um, yeah, nothing crazy, but we do, um, we like to pick up like event tees. Boom, this one's not old or anything, 2019, but I mean, if I went to this and I didn't get a tee at the concert, I would want one, or at the show, I would want one at some point, you know? That's kind of kind of how it goes. This piece was awesome, I gotta look this up. I'm hoping this is some heat right here. This is a Disney, on the Disney Mulan tag. Some overalls. Boom, oh, the dragon embroidery on the front. Then we got what is like a lotus flower on the back. Boom, the overall shorts. Super dope, man. Yeah, so two bucks on these, come on, come on. Two bucks on this, more torrid. Torrid denim, torrid denim. Look at this bad boy. Oh, it's cute, man. Little crop uh, jean jacket, size three. There we go. These are the two women's brands we pick up, basically. We pick up Torrid and we pick up Lauren Ralph Lauren. Just a basic shirt. Um, again, two bucks. We're gonna list it for about 20, 25. A Disney shirt. Boom, we don't do a lot of Disney stuff, but for two bucks, a big old graphic like that. Um, yeah, should be easy $20 flip right there. 
element i gotta do a little bit more research on element but i'm pretty sure i was looking up a hat the other day and some of the element stuff was going for for pretty crazy money not crazy money but it was it, it was getting up there you know starting to starting to pick up a little steam this one's nice so i am going to check this out and i will get back to you guys but yeah two bucks two dollars two dollars two dollars all this <clears throat> another two dollar shirt this pixar disney pixar shirt pretty dope a little uh, rainbow colorway that's nice man super nice all right, and then we got two more pieces, or no, last piece off of this rack. This piece is super cool, man. All right, so this is a Kingdom Hearts tag. Boom, which I'm 99% sure is a video game. Boom, check that out. The Disney Kingdom Hearts button-up sweater. Yeah, this thing is sick. Oh, we got a hit on the front, too. Very nice, very nice. And that was the 16, I hope that's 16, I'll, I'll, I'll recount them, but 16 item haul from the first booth. Um, yeah, I mean, $30 for everything. We probably have a couple items in there worth at least $30. So, exciting haul there. I'll do some math here and we'll pop up like our potential pop, our potential profits for the entire thing. Yep, let's, uh, let's keep it going. On to the next booth. So on those first uh, 16 items, even at a $20 average sale cost, we're looking at a $300 total in sales off of a $32 uh, investment. Pretty great return there. Um, yeah, not bad at all. On to the next booth where we picked up two hoodies. Let's check it out. Boom, well, nothing insane, but this guy's uh, this is a cool guy at the swap meet. We like to support his booth and he always has cool stuff. Boom, well, Thrasher hoodie, it's a medium, but yeah, clean condition. Paid five bucks for this. And then we paid five bucks for this element hoodie. And again, I don't think we'll have any issue getting at least 20 to 25 back on each of these right here. I think this is also a size medium, probably. This is a large, cool, this is a large. But yeah, another element piece. I think we got three element pieces today. On to the next booth, let's go. All right, so at this next booth, is actually one of my uh, favorite booths at the swap meet. We picked up four items for a total of 20 bucks. Um, again, real cool people there. Um, they're always pretty fair with their pricing. So first item caught my attention. This thing was hanging up. Oh, peep that. The Air Jordan jersey. This thing's pretty sweet. Um, with the uh, with a Goodwill tag on there, you know what I'm saying? Probably Goodwill bins it. Yeah, so I think we paid, yeah, we paid 10 bucks for this. No problem at all. I have not looked that up, but jerseys, usually we can get 40 to 54. Um, and then we got this one right here. Boom. Wheatley. Ron Wheatley. No, I'm joking. I don't know who Wheatley is, but I mean, big old Raiders jersey on the, uh, yeah, yeah, the Reebok jersey. Again, 10 bucks, and I don't think we should have an issue getting at least 40 to 50 bucks for that. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you some breaking news. We actually managed to sell this jersey the same day we listed it for full asking price of $149.95 plus shipping. We got these right here, which honestly I think are new. So I may call new without a tag because they're uh, they're just crispy looking. Nike gray tag, windbreaker pants. Uh, we actually sold a pair of like white Nike windbreaker pants like this before for like over fifty dollars I think. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do a little little, re little research on this. Boom, the ankle zips. These are gangster man. These are like some photo shoot style pants right here, man. Honestly, these are these are sick. Yeah, cool. Keep that. So, paid five on these. So 10, 20, 25. And then last piece right here. Uh, new brand to me, TNA, TNA. So maybe I'm a fool and maybe I should know about TNA. Um, but they had this, I looked this up, Volga pen, it didn't come up, but the brand came up and other stuff came up selling from this for this brand for some like pretty good price. This is an $85 price tag on it and then on sale for $30. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they good little bins this one as well. That's like a nice, uh, I think it's called taping. Yeah, taping on the side. Uh, yeah, same thing. Paid five bucks for these. New with tags. Boom. Let's go. Not a bad stop at that booth at all. All right, so let's recap these totals again real quick. We are at 10 more dollars spent with the hoodies. So I think that puts us as like $42 spent and we are at $40 more profit with the hoodies, $20 a piece, let's call it. And now, or sales. And now we did um, those four more items, another $30. So now we're at like 72 spent. And those four items, I think we'll call them like $30 a piece um, in sales, just cause they're a little, a little nicer, a little higher end. So that's another 120. Uh, 360, 400, like 
five hundred dollars. Yeah, we're like around there. I'll, I'll do the, I'll do like better math here. But yeah, we're on five hundred dollars so far in sales on this haul, and we have a couple more items. Let's go. All right, so let's go. Next booth, we picked up uh, one more jersey. This one's cool. Um, vintage or semi-vintage, made in Korea. I gotta confirm that, man. See, um, I don't know why I don't know that. I should know that. So I'm gonna know that. I'm gonna figure that out, and I'm gonna learn if Korea is vintage or not. It's probably like vintage half the time. Anyways, boom. Not bad. It's pretty sick. Um, vintage or semi-vintage. UCLA Bruins, like a baseball style jersey. Yeah, buddy. Um, we've sold uh, a lot of college stuff like this for around $50. So this being UCLA, I don't think we'll have any issue. I mean, at least clearing that $40, $50 mark. Um, not bad at all. It needs a little wash. Boom. Actually, a nice pile of whites going on here. Like, being responsible with the laundry, trying to separate the colors and the whites. There's something yellow in there. It's only a little bit of yellow. It's mostly white. All right, and that was it for the next booth. Next booth, we found, and again, just one item. Not all booths are like over flooded with a bunch of items that you're gonna just find. Um, but you do have to dig, and sometimes you dig and you find a bunch, sometimes you dig, you find nothing, sometimes you dig and you find uh, just one piece. So these are cool, um, might be might be personals for a little bit, I gotta try them on. Um, hundreds brand, like Paisley print, board shorts, summer's coming around. These are sick, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we can get 20 bucks for those. I think we pay, I paid four bucks for these. Just because I knew that I might keep them. I mean, honestly, I probably would have paid four bucks anyway. That's not bad. They're five dollars at Google. All right, next item. Okay, quick, uh, quick addition. So we were at seventy spent and five hundred in potential sales, and then we have the jersey, the UCLA jersey. So now we're at eighty spent. Let's call it eighty-five, just to be safe. Eighty-five spent, and call it five forty potential sales. Um, another twenty here, so five sixty potential sp potential sales with uh, with ninety spent. Five fifty, five sixty. 560, I think I said. 560. All right, let's go. All right, so this next booth was pretty insane. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just it's just starting to happen now. We've been going to Swap Me for a couple months. Um, the, some of the vendors are starting to recognize us. We're as nice as we can be to people. Um, we don't try to haggle too much. You know, we know they're giving us really good deals already. They're, they're, they're bringing piles of items for us to look through. And they already kind of, they're curating these items. Honestly, they're not bringing a bunch of junk. They're, 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 they're leaving the junk, you know, where, where it belongs. And they're, they're bringing some good stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, this guy was ready for us. This guy saw us and he was like, he was like, I got, you know, I, I know you guys like hats. We picked up 20 items at this guy's booth, 18 hats and two bags. Um, he charges us $2.50 a piece, basically. So we paid $50 for 20 items. Um, again, 18 hats, two bags. Let's check it out. All right, so don't get too excited. First item, it's not a vintage bag or anything. It's a New York print, 2015, I think it said on the tag. Just a nice backpack. Um, I was going to buy it just to fill with the hats I was picking up. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm probably just going to give it a wash and give it to my nephew. Yeah, not bad. Can't go wrong with a $2.50 Pokemon backpack. It's in perfect condition. Um, next item. This one is vintage. 1996, it says on the print. 1996 Tasmanian Devil little, like, a. Uh, little sack backpack sack this thing's sick oh i have a red one like this that has not sold i can't believe um but yeah this thing should be worth at least 30 bucks oh all right so that's two bags and let's get right into the hats all right so now on to the 18 hats um out of the 18 hats i think we have about five or six really good ones um, and the rest of them are not bad. They're all hats that um, we know we can sell all day long for about $15 to $25. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. First one, Bass Pro Shops. I mean, can't go wrong with that. Boom. Should be able to sell that um, all day long for, I mean, it's got that real tree looking print. So yeah, I mean, like I said, $15 to $25. This one, I'm not sure. Um, we got to look it up, but it is vintage. Nice trucker hat, nice colorway. I think just the, the John Wayne, the Cancer Foundation, um, the rope on the front, everything everything about this hat was was, was saying, pick me up um, for $2.50. That one is clean. This one here, um, vintage San Diego stuff does really well. Um, obviously, probably a bunch of people out there, a bunch of good customers out there for this kind of thing. This is like a corduroy style. I think there's another name for this. Um, man, I... I don't want to say the wrong thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a gamble. I'm gonna say chambray, chambray, something like that. Um, yeah, this is like a. I'm pretty sure a semi-vintage, like a 90s or early thousands. This is this thing's dope though. Boom. 
Should be able to get 25 for that. This, I did not look this up actually. I just realized this was in my pile. Um, hopefully I should be able to get 15 for it. It's this Koo original, Koo original. It's a kangaroo hat, like, or a, I don't know if that's what you call it, but like there's like a brand called Kangol that makes hats like this. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. 250. Um, this was funny and I like the style of it a lot. Boom. I'm sure there's a lot of fans out there that are going to be looking to pick this up. A little cliff bar hat, like a Patagonia style looking like duck deal hat. Carnival, the Col Colorado Bell, uh, Laughlin, Nevada. This is like a, looks like a casino style hat, you know, or a casino style logo. But yeah, again, vintage hat. Boom, nice rope on the front. Should be able to get 15 to 25 for that. This is what I'm talking about. Look, element. There's some more element. It's like an element visor. Um, this thing's just gnarly looking. Got to look that up. I'm really not sure about it. Um, again, I don't think we'll have an issue asking for that 15 to 25. This thing is dope. Um, I used to have a hat like this back in the day. All black Laker hat. Um, it is new era. And again, it's just all blacked out, which I thought was pretty cool. Might be something that people want. Um, yeah. These right here, check this pair out. They're faded as hell. Um, I know they're faded as heck. Sorry, faded as heck. But check them out. They're pretty dope. It's like vintage. I'll uh, start with one. The LeBron James uh, on the heat. Well, we'll see what a wash does to these. Hopefully, we can make them look a little better than they do now don't just win dominate all right that's pretty cool well i'm not a huge lebron james fan but not a bad hat what is this right here kevin durant not a big kevin durant fan either but here we go uh this hat's beat to crap but we'll see man um i think i think it's actually like if it can clean off that actually is like a pretty cool like vintage fade on that um same idea don't just win dominate new era boom this hat is dope. All right. This is an Eddie Bauer. Um, it's like a snow hat. What the hell? What does it say? This says, oh, dang. That's funny. And I was going to make a joke. I wonder if it is. Look at that. Premium quality goose down. I actually almost walked away with this hat on my head like this this morning. I was messing around at the booth going through hats and I found this one and I was like, oh, I wonder if it fits. And I put it on and I put it on on top of one of my hats that I was wearing. And then I went to keep shopping for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes like this. And then I walked away from the booth with this hat on my head. I can't believe the guy didn't tell me anything. Obviously, yeah, I mean, dude, it's crazy looking. Anyways, I went back and I paid for it and the guy laughed um, again. He was a cool guy. But yeah, Eddie Bauer, I'm pretty sure vintage Eddie Bauer. I can't see right here. I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to. Uh, I'll look it up later. But yeah, the Goose Down Eddie Bauer hat. Holy smokes, boys. This thing is sick. This thing is sick. $2.50 on that. Come on. You can tell me I can't get 25 for that? This one's cool. This is a, not a vintage. Uh, yeah, 2015. Actually, it probably came with that backpack. But another cool hat. Um, I thought the print was really, really dope. Um, and we'll see. Maybe it's, maybe it's a solid after print. And maybe I can get $25 for it. All right, on to some of the more interesting hats. This was a uh, Fila. Again, Fila doesn't do that well, but the, you know, interesting pieces always do always do well. And this is a cool like um, newsboy cap, um, driver cap. I think they call them as well. Fila. I don't want to put that one on, but I should put that on. Yeah, that's a cool like cool looking style. I get it. I get it. This one's interesting. This is I didn't look this up. Again, $2.50 to go risk. I just like the style, you know what I'm saying? Cool hat. Boom. Some of these little Nike hats, man, go for like 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 bucks. Um, I don't know about this one. This might just be a basic one, but that's how they all look. They all look kind of basic, and then you find out you're actually holding a $50 Nike Grail for whatever reason. It's got a little stain. Um, it's all right. We're going to wash that. I'm gonna wash all these hats right now, actually. I'm about to throw them in the washer. I'll show you guys how we wash hats, actually. Let me insert that reel. Actually, I'll wait. I'll wait till we're done with the video. Or till we're done with these uh, with these hats. And then we're gonna insert um, a little Instagram reel I made showing how we wash these hats. This is dope. The Nike SV on this, like, acid wash brown. Shit, boy. I'm gonna look this one up. I think that's gonna be, like, a $30 hat. And this one right here. Man, this is the pickup of the day. Here, I'll show you guys the tag. Ooh, buddy. Made in the USA, size small. I'm gonna, man, I'm gonna squeeze that on my head. Look at this thing. I like the style, look at the style. Boom, like that nice summer style. What does it say? It says Polo Ralph Lauren, Summer Florida. He's got that like Marlin on there. 
Come on, look at that. Look at that. Two dollars and fifty cents for that. Um, I, I gotta look that up. Might be a grail. Um, but again, I don't think we have any issue getting thirty, forty dollars for that right there. Um, if not, I'm I'm gonna probably hang on to it. Like I said, I'm gonna try to squeeze that sucker out of my head. Oh no, it's gonna be snug. We'll see. We'll see. I will update you guys back on that after I give it a nice little wash. All right, and that was it. Eighteen hats, two bags, twenty pieces total. Two dollars and fifty cents a piece. Fifty dollar haul. Um, let's do some math. All right, so let's do another uh, another numbers update. So we were at 90 invested or 90 spent, and we were at 560 in potential sales. Now with this $50 in the hats and the bags, we're gonna be at 140 spent. And just on the conservative side, let's say we get $15 a piece for those 20 pieces, we're looking at $300 there. So that's gonna bring us to a total of 860. And let's say we get a little bit more for those um, for those nicer hats, I think we're safely eight sixty nine hundred dollars so far on this on this haul, and we're at one hundred and forty spent. Um, yeah, like I said, a really good day at the Swami today. Um, and let's keep it going. We got just a couple more clothing items, and we are done. Let's go. Next booth was another solid stop. Uh, yeah, usually the stuff at this booth is fifty cents during the week and a dollar on the weekends. It's a big pile on the floor, um, and we kind of just picked through it a little bit and see if we can, you know, pull, pull something good out. First item we found um, was this right here. It is a BJ Penn RVCA uh, Ruka T-shirt. This is from uh, yeah Team Hawaii. Oh, it's 2010. Awesome. So this is uh, basically like a BJ Penn walkout tee from when he used to fight. Actually, I'm not 100 percent sure if this is, but these were like this style of tee. So. I actually sold one like this before. I sold one for $50. I gotta look this one up, but it might be another walkout tee from around 2010. And if it is, it's probably worth around $50. So that was an awesome find for 50 cents, 50 cents. And then this right here, let me know if you know this brand. <laughs> Cote de Nuts, de, de Nuits. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I literally, here, let me, let me show you guys. I saw it and the logo looked familiar. It kind of looked like, um, what is that? Like on that on cloud logo which I think is a shoe brand that's kind of expensive. I've never sold them, but I, I've heard about them. Um, anyways, I looked this up and they actually have some stuff that sells for like some pretty good money. Like I'll, I'll pull some comps up right here if, some, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw some stuff selling for like oh, over 50 to like $100 on this brand. Um, I paid 50 cents for it. This thing is kind of like janky looking. I'm gonna put it up for like $30, or like $25 and see if I can get a real quick flip on that right there. Um, yeah, Cote de New Eats. Boom. So yeah, $1 potential, 50, 60, $70. Not bad at all. Add that to the, add that to the profits. And I think we're at a 141 spent and we are at 860 plus 60. We'll call it 920 in potential sales. Let's go. Yes. All right. Four more items to go. Uh, three of them are bangers. So here we go. Um, back to back Hawaii shirt pickups. You love to see it. I actually sell a good amount of Hawaiian stuff, man. Um, see a lot of it here in Cali. This is a vintage or semi-vintage uh, Volcom t-shirt, Volcom Hawaii. I haven't looked it up, but um, I've sold Volcom Hawaii. I've sold um, Billab or not, not Vol I don't think Volcom, maybe Volcom, but I've sold Billabong and I've sold Quicksilver um, and a bunch of other Hawaiian stuff. But yeah, Hawaii is always good usually for me. Um, all right, so that's two bucks we paid for that shirt. And again, hopefully we can get 20, 25 for it. So now we're, we're, we're creeping up. Let me do some math. All right, so everything's adding up a little bit. Um, 143 invested or spent this morning and 940 in potential sales so far. We have three more items. Can we get over $1,000? Let's see. Insert Lion King song here. Uh... right here folks so actually from this same booth swap meets are interesting man like i don't know where they get all their stuff sometimes sometimes you can tell it's from the goodwill bins and sometimes it looks like it's from like a family like an estate sale and they just have more of the same stuff kind of coming out day after day a little interesting anyways this brand right here is a new brand for me i'm gonna i'm gonna let you guys know about this it's a little bolo in case you guys don't know mo nidalee let's try to focus on that mo nidalee I'll put up a picture in case it doesn't focus. There we go. Mo Nitaly. Mo Nitaly. I don't think it has a very strong sell-through rate, but the sh clothing is worth like a lot of money. I found a shirt the other day, listed it, 
for a hundred dollars just to kind of test the waters listed it high i thought it has eight watchers already um in like a matter of a day or two so i think that shirt's gonna sell pretty soon um if not for a hundred i should get a pretty high offer that i will accept um anyways i found another one boom long sleeve again off of the same booth nice long sleeve button up and 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 boom a pair of pants made in the usa i mean i don't know what it's meant triple stitch blah 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 yeah, I don't even know, man. These things are supposed to be like this thing. I would think this is like such a like this thing throws me off, makes this thing look a little uh, a little janky to me. But apparently, man, I might have to try these bad boys out, huh? Anyways, I don't know how much these pants go for. I gotta check. But let's say we can get another fifty and fifty, right? Let's call it. Let's call it another hundred bucks. One thousand forty dollars potential sales. And it's gonna be, uh, these were two for 15, two for 15. So now we're gonna be at 158. Let's go, 158 spent, 1,040 in potential sales. These days like this are the days that kind of make me consider wearing a freaking GoPro on my chest so I can record like all the stuff that I find at the swap meet. Not that you guys don't believe it. I think you guys believe it, right? all right last item of the day i'm i almost almost failed right here i almost messed this thing up honestly um walk past this in the morning it was just hanging on a hanger you know as it as it as it should be as it belongs hanging high in the sky um i didn't want to ask about it usually like vendors know about north face and about these like puffy jackets and they'll straight up and they'll tell you 50 60 bucks for it but again, you just gotta ask. You gotta ask because you never know. I asked the guy, he said, oh, I wanted 20 for it. Um, I'll take 15. I was like, all right, that's not bad. You know, we literally had just walked in. So I was like, let me check it out. So I walked up to it, looked at it. Boom, this right here was good. This usually means like the weight of the installation. So just the fact that it has any type of installation or weight is a, is a good sign. Um, but I messed up because I looked inside of the tag and I was looking for one thing. I was looking to see if it was goose down. And I didn't see goose down. I looked inside and I saw polyester. It says goose down right there, but all I saw was polyester. So I just, you know, I left it hanging on the rack and I said, I'm gonna take a lap and I'll be back. Came back, saw it again. I still didn't know it was goose down. Checked it out one more time, read carefully again. Boom, 100% goose down insulation. Um, looked them up real quick on eBay. Should be able to get 75 to hundred dollars on this beautiful North Face goose down women's puffer vest. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. All right. We broke a thousand bucks. I think this will, we can safely say we'll be over a thousand with this now. Um, thousand one hundred dollars with a hundred and sixty, seventy five, one seventy five, call it one seventy five invested, eleven hundred dollars in sales. Man, we just need to find a way to, to just like ramp these numbers up and get our listings up. Um, yeah, we're going to keep going and, uh, and it's going good. So yeah, thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Let me know what was your favorite piece. Uh, everything's for sale. Let me know if anything's uh, interested, interesting to you. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely hit the video with a like. It helps us a lot. And we will see you guys on the next one. All right, let's see if we can add to the haul a little bit. We had a hot day today. All right, we were in there for 10 minutes. We found some pretty sweet items. We found a Nike ACG shirt. I picked up a Patagonia T-Snap uh, jacket and a new Tag Zara shirt. Not a bad stop at all. Let's go. Another pretty sweet find to end the day. Thank you guys again for watching. See you guys in the next one.